All right. Hello, Idiots on Parade, the Too Ugly for TV podcast. We mock the news so you don't have to. Hello, Jake. How's it going? All is well here. That is Jake Vevra, stand-up comedian in New York City. I am Nathan Timmel, comedian in uh, Iowa City. And if you are listening to us on Chicago's Comedy Scene Radio Network, hi. I just hey, waved. Uh, that's for the people on YouTube. So uh, if you're listening on Chicago, you didn't hear me wave, but I did say hello. I, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I didn't wave. Doing it now, though. Doing there it. There you go. Now. Throwing away. I don't have good lighting today. I should have checked that. Well, I, I am in a basement. So what are you going to do? I have great um, lightings, but, but but terrible bags under my eyes. My kid didn't sleep for shit last night. So uh, uh, my wife was mad at me this morning. She, she, <laughs> she said, Hey, how are you doing, Mr. I was still asleep when our son woke up and shouted from his bedroom, I can't sleep. So she had to go in and pat his back so that he could fall back asleep. And apparently I slept <laughs> through it all. Dude, I, I'm just going to start giving this kid NyQuil with his formula. I don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah, it, it gets it gets bad. Why do I have, I mean, I have the same lighting as last week. It's just the, there we go. I've moved it a little closer. I don't know. Not that anyone wants to see me. Jake, let's jump right in. Uh, I gave you a listing in order. First off, Sha- Sean Hannity. Um He said that you have to vote for uh, um, Republicans because Democrats are not as interested in the quality of a candidate as Republicans are. And that was his take on Georgia, where Republicans were running Herschel Walker. Democrats are not interested in the quality of a candidate. That's true. When I first heard him say that, I was like, oh, my God. He's confused and thinks Raphael Warnock is J.B. Smoof. That's fair. I thought that, too, when I first saw him. But then I was like, wait a minute. That statement wouldn't even make sense if they were indeed running J.B. Smoof against uh, Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker would still be the nutbag out of the two. Well, and that's what Republicans thought, too, because in conjunction with that story, there there's so much coming out now. It's It's funny how during the election... Everyone falls in line and says, this is what we got to do. We have to act this way. Now that it's done, I didn't send you this link. Did you see that uh, Republicans compiled a 500-page dossier on uh, um, a Walker, Herschel Walker? Like when he said, hey, I'm thinking about running, they did that thing where they said, all right, well, what's everything that could come bite us in the ass if we run you as a candidate? And they created a 500 page. All right. When they say this, we have to be ready. We when they talk about this, we have to be ready. And they said they could keep going. And then his son has come out and said, everybody except Trump said, do not run. It will end in disaster. Trump is the only one that wanted him to run. And yet he's still got 48 percent of the vote. That that is how. And did you see any interviews with people who did uh, support him? They they were it's sad. I don't want to make fun, but they are the most brain dead. Well, you know, I think it's just media lies that he paid for those abortions. Like they just don't give a fuck. They're voting for the R. Democrats are so toxic to some people. I I did, but most of them I saw, like you were saying, were they were just asking him about the abortions, which. Yeah, hey man, it's it's super hypocritical that he does that, and then is super uh, hard against abortion, like wants to you know right. lock women up to get them, and doctors that provide them, and things like that. Uh, that all that being said, it's not nearly as crazy as the shit that he did with his family, you know. Yeah. And I I thought that would come more to the forefront in the runoff. Now, granted, there wasn't a ton of time in between this one and the and the general one. But I mean, one uh, month, 30 days, you can pound a message yeah, in 30 days. Even then. Yeah. Even even that's enough time because that shit is so I've said it on here before. It is yeah. so much fucking crazier than the abortion thing. And I remember, you know, when when Brett Ka- Kavanaugh was getting, you, you know, grilled in front yeah, of we talked about morning. this. He, he did Dude. horrible shit, but he never held a gun to. Any no, of that. no. Like what he did. I'm not saying it should be taken lightly. And, and it certainly wasn't. That said. We got every fucking detail of that. And what he did wasn't even a tenth as crazy as Herschel Walker threatening to kill his own family, like with the gun, you know? Didn't didn't they come out, though, and say that uh, we didn't get all the details of Kavanaugh? Like the FBI did. Uh, they were supposed to interview 200 people. And I'm making this up. 
uh, but they only interviewed 20 or something like that. Or they, they interviewed five. They were supposed to interview 25. I don't remember. I think they said afterward that they they sort of uh, didn't give a fuck and sort of botched that investigation, too. Maybe they're too busy covering uh, up the story on Hunter Biden's laptop. Ooh. Could be. Could be. But uh, at the end of the day, like how many people are you really going to interview when there was three people in the room? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, I, I mean, yeah, maybe maybe there were some people downstairs. I, I, you know, I mean, it's well, anybody she told anybody like I, I, I hate to say it, the the stories get out there. That's the idea of yeah. what I mean, yeah. I, didn't his roommate come out and say, oh, yeah, he was a severe alcoholic. All he would do is like there was drunk Brett and there was sober Brett and you didn't want to be around drunk. Brett. I don't know. Right. Don't right. Know. You know, that said uh, him like groping a lady in, in high school or whatever. Yeah. Not great but also not threatening to kill his own family with the wife and gun or um, with uh, his own wife and kids with it, with a goddamn gun. That's, yeah. that's crazy. That's like psycho shit. I, I would vote against any uh, Democrat on the planet for any Republican on the planet. If it came out that they did that, that's yeah. like, so Trump fucking is insane. insane. But as far as I know, he's never held a gun to anyone's head. Yeah. He made a like, joke of it. He said, I could shoot someone in fifth Avenue, but that's just, words that's just, right you know that's not just holding a gun to someone's head that's holding a gun to your own wife's yeah. head in front of your kid like that is so fucking crazy it should automatically disqualify you for even a job as a dog catcher man like you should not be able to stamp licenses at the dmv if you did that uh but well, somehow look, almost have the state and and it's i i get that that, that politics is a team sport OK, yeah. so I get the falling in line thing and Democrats who are sitting there going, oh, I can't believe Republicans would vote for this guy. I can because I live in New York. You know why? Because if next election it was Donald Trump versus some guy that did that, it would still probably go blue because half of this fucking state would go. His wife is Russian misinformation. Don't listen to his kid. He was hired by Putin to say he put again. So I get that that happens. Um that said, George's own Republican governor came out and said before the runoff, I stepped in the voting booth and could not vote for either of these guys. So that would, like that's his own Republican governor in in the state of Georgia is saying, I can't vote for the guy. At that well, point, like, hey, man, is it really all fake news from the fucking left when even your own side is coming out and being like, this guy's bad shit? And that's the next point I wanted, because I, I, I sent you like several uh, Herschel Walker stories, because as I said, what's funny is before the election, all one story. No, it's Democrat lies. It's this, it's that, which is why it's funny that post-election Sean Hannity is still clinging to or was that was on the seventh. So he's still clinging to the idea that. But as it turns out, as the studies come out, turnout by Republicans was great. It's just that many of them didn't vote for Republicans Republicans in Georgia, uh, according to the story, Warnock was the only Democrat elected. They Republicans won the governorship. They won, uh, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene won it in right. Georgia. But when it came to insane candidates across the board, Republicans voted against Republicans. And keep in mind, sane Republican candidates in Georgia, we're giving you a wide berth. Like somehow Marjorie Taylor Greene has fallen under that umbrella. OK, they only voted for the candidates that were more crazy than Marjorie Taylor Greene. What <laughs> the fuck true. does that tell you? Well, and that's also that was a local congressional district. This right. Was yeah. Statewide. But yeah. they, they said it went across the board with the Blake Masters and um they, I'm sure they're. It's in here. Uh, Utah, uh, Kari Lake. Um, well, they they won in the Senate too, didn't they? Yeah, the the astronaut won. But yeah, Republicans voted Republican except for the Trump endorsed election deniers. So it backfired. All the the pushing of the bullshit yeah. did not work. Sanity won out. It's still, as I said, frightening that 48 percent of the people. And I said this in 2020. Like it's insane. That after four years under Trump, more people voted for him in 2020 than in 2016. 2016, I get it. You're throwing a grenade into the system. You're just yeah. angry at both sides. But after living under Trump for four years, you went, no, I need more of that. That is what is interesting about our dumb country. Well, especially while this man is handling a crisis poorly. Yeah. Like they're dying of COVID going, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do Republican straight ticket. <laughs> this thing is fake. I think this is just the flu. Fuck it.
I mean, and as we've said on here before, when your choices are, uh, you know, it's fake or put on 10 masks and kill the economy. I mean, what are you going to do? The Democrats weren't handling things all that great either. No, their, no, you know, especially on the later sides, because um, it was the the disease itself was a lot stronger in 2020. And like most yeah. airborne viruses, it got more contagious, but less severe, which is a good thing, you know, uh, but. In especially early 2020, when that guy was claiming, hey, don't worry about it. Don't protect yourself. Yeah, it's uh, going away. It, It'll be gone just yeah, like that. Yeah, it's. It, I was like, wow, dude, he's really betting his whole campaign on this thing is not going to be that bad. And then it finally started spreading to the swing states right around October, November. So it's like, dude, yeah, you're you're fucked now. I, I mean, that's that that sunk you. That's why this whole thing with like Hunter Biden's laptop. I agree with conservatives on the fact that the in terms of the media, the media straight up covered that shit up. They straight up lied about it. They yeah. did not do their due diligence. Now there was there was reason to doubt the claims initially. If you just I mean, got it's the, a like, weird, it's a weird story. story, it's a weird fucking story. But you're also not the New York Times who can do investigative journalism. All you got to do is look at that fucking laptop. Yeah. Very, and you know what I mean? Like your investigative journalist, you can you can figure out whether or not that's his laptop. But nah, they don't want to do it. The, the media on the right was willing to check it out. You know, they they were now granted they were they were right away saying, yeah, it's it's his laptop. The second there was even a whisper of it. Yeah. It said that's why you got to fucking check your and shit. And it came from Giuliani, a, a, an insane person is like, right. you can see why there was doubt. And that's you, it. I also. It's like, I, the, I I I agree with you. I agree with the idea that it was now, but up. where uh, I disagree with with the Republicans is is, is that th- is is its direct link to Joe Biden, and more importantly, that this would have swung the election because yeah. people did not vote for for Joe Biden in 2020 because they thought that Hunter Biden was a great guy. We knew he wasn't. You know, yeah. well, they it's, also didn't vote, vote for Joe Biden Donald because Trump. they love Joe Biden. They didn't go, yay, Biden, no. let's get behind Biden. N- nobody voted for him because of that. Not only would people have still voted against Donald Trump for Joe Biden while he was while Trump was fucking up the pandemic, his response to it, um, they could have released the laptop information and then switched the ticket from Joe Biden to Hunter Biden. And people would have voted for Hunter Biden over Donald Trump fucking trouble at that point they would have been like let him smoke crack on the white house lawn while he gets sucked off i don't give a shit well and that's the other part of it is i am very curious as to what is in the laptop because most of what i have heard and i am an ignorant person i'm very dumb is that it's a lot of uh, selfies of his dick and the and republicans right. are calling for that they're saying hey let's release the photos why nobody wants to see his dick we know that for years he was a crackhead fucking strippers getting women pregnant um in I, less- wait a minute i want to see naked first son crackhead pics that's <laughs> hilarious to me when you say no one uh, uh you, you you don't say we in terms of uh the, both the the hosts of this podcast fair enough but if there are dealings where it shows yes um th- that he uh was paid a- an extraordinary amount of money because uh, his dad set it up. Now, he got paid extraordinary amounts of money because of who his dad is. They all wanted access to Biden. That is not a secret. That is what happens. They all wanted access to Joe. Now, if Joe directly got involved and made phone calls and said, hey, you need to hire my son, that's different. I am not. Sh- I know the former is true. If the latter turns out to be true, there's a problem. So let's investigate it and find out. Well, th- that's the thing I mean, that happens with every political son or daughter. Right, right, right. Like, I'm saying they all wanted access to Joe, but did Joe make the phone calls and say, "Hi, hire my son. You need to hire my son. You should give my like- right." Shady, but that said, Trump didn't do that. Trump oh. gave his kids cabinet positions. Yeah. If 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 this guy was and now, I will give the media on or I'm uh, sorry, I, I I will give the people on the right credit that if this happened to one of Trump's kids. The media on the left would be talking about it way more. That yeah, said, yeah. if this was one of Trump's kids, he would be the secretary of state or something. He would be like smoking crack uh, in prime minister's bathrooms and trying to fuck their daughters. It would be crazy. 
And uh, the worst argu argument you can make is what we're doing is the what about ism. But that is the case because uh, I don't have the number off the top of my head, but Jared and Ivanka went and signed multi, multi million dollar deals with the Saudis during uh, Khashoggi gate. And uh, after like their connections, they are they, they can talk about the hundreds of thousands, if not a couple million dollars that Hunter Biden got. Uh, Jared and Ivanka did very well, so well that you'd have to think that Eric and Don Jr. are jealous. <laughs> yeah. And, and I mean, in terms of people uh, that uh, bribed him to get access to, to his father, I, I mean, like, that's where it's going to go. It's going to go from him to his father. If you already have access to the father, like, why is the father going to set it up? If you have access to Joe yeah, yeah, Biden, yeah. You, don't, you don't need to bribe the, the crackhead son. You know what I mean? That, that would be like sort of uh, uh, sleeping your way to the top of McDonald's. And after you're on the board of directors, you suck off a district manager. You know, it's like you're not going to do that. You've already slept your way to the top. You don't, you know, you're there. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Well, but uh, I, I will say, I think that a, a big, a big difference between the Herschel Walker thing and a lot of um, sort of other races where they could have you know if you're on the right you can maybe claim oh this is just fake news by the left yada sure. yada yada uh is that you did have republicans coming out and and you know claiming that this guy is fucked up you had his own son who was was somewhat of a public figure on the right oh, coming a, out he's, he's right. a big he loved trump he's a big maga guy it's not like his yeah. son is a is um ron reagan jr who was right. pretty leftist and would talk out about against his dad he he votes Republican and he came out and said, you are not a family man when you left us to bang a bunch of women, threatened to kill us and right. had us move over six times in six months running from your violence. How much how bad do you think when, when he came out and said that his dad was sitting there thinking, I should have killed you when I had the chance. My God, I had the <laughs> I gun to your head. I could trigger. be fucking senator right now. But no, you know, what? I will give Herschel Walker credit for this, though. Uh, he did gracefully bow out and actually give a concession speech which yeah. as nutty as that fucking guy was i was like he's going full de election denier he's oh it's it's fake because it was close too you know yeah. it was close i thought he was going to do the carry lake thing where it's hey the the, the democrats filed a goddamn lawsuit you know, i think yeah she filed a lawsuit i thought it was gonna be like that you, you, uh, I would have bet he would have done anything other than bow out gracefully. I'm glad that was not on DraftKings because <laughs> I would have bet for so many more things. I would have bet for uh, he's he's going to file a lawsuit. I'll bet uh, he's going to get people to storm the Capitol, even if it's literally just him. He will storm it by himself. I would have bet that he would claim that he's the Messiah and that he should be declared dictator of the country. I would have bet that he would have lit himself on fire, Buddhist monk style, before uh bowing out gracefully i would have bet that he would have just grabbed his own wife on podium and put a gun to her head and be like <laughs> if you don't make me senator my, my seventh wife gets it see okay this is just speculation but it popped into my head while you were saying that do you think that as insane as he is even he was tired of all the shit he was going through in the media and the fact that he lost like, do you remember in 2020 or no, 2016, when Trump won, there were all these rumors that he was actually surprised and Melania was sort of pissed like they expected to lose. Yeah. And that for in this case, it was right. Herschel Walker looked at it as an out like, OK, good. I lost. Now I can just go back to my life of not being yelled at in the news every single day. Like at some point, it's got to add up like even a crazy person says, Okay, I'm done. I'm I'm walking away. I don't need this shit. All my dirty laundry is in the media. I, do you think that could be why he gave a concession speech? I think that's exactly it. And, and that's a goddamn good point. I think it is a total situation of Alex Jones going, I wish the mainstream media would give me more attention, you know? And then he gets it and it's like, you're being sued for a, a billion dollars. Like, oh, shit. I, uh. I kind of wish I was still just lawsuit. on my own website and never, never made it on CNN. That, that kind of sunlight really burned the hell out of me. Yeah. 
Uh, one more thing with politics, then we'll move on just because it sort of relates. Speaking of losing, uh, the New York jury finds Trump.org guilty on 17 counts of tax fraud. Uh, this isn't going to matter to anyone who who likes Trump. Uh, it it may taint the overall independence and light Republicans, the guy, the people that did vote against the Herschel Walkers and Carrie Lakes. Um, sure. What I thought was interesting when I read it, I don't know if it was in this story, but the the stance that uh, the Trump Corporation took was that this executive did everything on his own. That all of the tax fraud. Yeah. I mean, no, if he can't say, hey, I tell you what, you pay me uh, so much in cash and then the rest in tuition for my kid. And the company goes, that sounds legit. And then say he did it all himself. I mean, what a bizarre stance to take, even if it was his idea to get paid in free apartments and tuition and whatever else, vacations, whatever he got the corporation had to agree. So the fact that their stance was he did everything without our knowledge. What an interesting and bizarre, because even if they say it wasn't the corporation's idea and you can't tie it to Trump, it's still bizarre to say he he did everything on his own. Like, Hey, you're supposed to get $200,000 a year, but you're only uh, taking a hundred thousand. But lucky us. You're like, no, they have to know where the money's going. They are a business. Right. I, there's there's an ancient Latin word for this guy, and that word is fall guy. He is a fall guy. Yep. It's clear that's what he is. And it's, it's just ridiculous, the idea that, uh, w- well, Trump organization is on trial. Donald Trump, the head of the company, though, this has nothing to do with him. <laughs> like, wait, what? What are you talking about? Wait, oh, no, no, me. I'm just Carl's Jr., the man. Uh, the one who put all the rat turds in the burgers, that was Carl's Jr., the company. I don't know. That fucking guy over there, man, the Carl's Jr. company. That's God crazy. Damn man, man. But it is true. They haven't tied anything to Trump. They, it's, But it's just a stain on his name. The people that don't care won't care. The people that are against Trump are masturbating to it. They're like, yay, Trump falls. It doesn't yeah, well, make I mean, dude, that's why all that, That's why all this white-collar business criminal shit keeps happening. They, they fucking do this. They'll have a fall guy who gets millions of dollars. They get light fucking sentences. Uh, uh, and and even when they do go to prison, it, it, you know, it's it's not for very long. And it's it's not in fucking Rikers Island. This guy's not going to worry about getting shanked where he's going. Yeah. He's going to some fucking, what, you know, minimum security. It, it, it's, it's ones that the business criminals have set up for themselves and their fucking fall guys should anything go wrong. Uh, be, because they're they're the ones who really own and run this country, man. He's gonna be playing tennis the whole fucking time. It, it, it's it's gonna be like like the Goodfellas prison scene. Yeah, this yeah. guy, but but nicer. The prison is set up like that. Everybody in there is is living like Ray Liotta when he went to prison. It's it's it, you know it's gonna be like that. But if they had tennis courts and jacuzzis, I mean, Michael Cohen is already out. You took the guy that. Yeah basically signed all the papers and worked the deals and it was in the room with trump and took orders and said okay i need to make the payouts for my boss and he's free i mean he he said i I, you talk about (laughs) what you just said about carl's jr uh, the person versus the company you had michael cohen and trump said well he was acting on his own i never it's like your personal lawyer that worked hand in hand with you with everything suddenly the instant uh, it went south was a rogue agent. He was with you for years and then suddenly like, oh, who knew he was doing all this shit? Everyone knew. He just went You've to been doing things day. on your own to save my company money, you bastard. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, there's no way to know. And uh, nah, I'm, I'm going to move on. All right. Um, let's get away from politics. I thought this was hilarious. We have, uh, I don't can't remember the order I sent them to you. And I think it goes this one, Kevin Hart, Gwyneth Paltrow, Madonna, Jimmy Fallon, and others cuffed with quote, insidious NFT endorsement suit manager guy, Osari. That's Madonna's former manager, I think. And universal TV named as defendants too. Um, apparently they said everyone should buy NFTs and people bought them, and now dumb people are realizing it's just the fucking picture on a computer. If you, I don't care, let's take the NFT part out of it. Let's just take that. If you are dumb enough to listen to a celebrity to see an ad and go, well, Gwyneth Paltrow has a candle that smells like her vagina, I should buy that. 
you deserve to get ripped off. This lawsuit is bullshit. If I were a judge, I would throw it out of court on those grounds alone. Uh, let's see, defendant, or, or uh, the, not the defendant, the other one, the person bringing the 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 uh, the lawsuit. Did you watch a commercial and say, wow, Kevin Hart says I should do this. I'm going to do it. All right, then you're dumb. Case dismissed. Kevin Hart says it's a great idea. No need to consult my accountant on this. I'm taking all my money out and fucking putting it in this in this in this Flintstones NFT. Yes, I mean now the the I didn't send you this, but it's out there. I'm just gonna, the Ticketmaster lawsuit because of Taylor Swift. That one I get. I mean, she sets up a thing that says. If you are my fan and you paid this money, then you get first access to the tickets. And if Ticketmaster says, aha, I'm going to sell it to myself so then I can resell the tickets for a higher price, Ticketmaster deserves to get sued. Yeah, that Ticketmaster is not... shady as fuck, dude. That's a This totally is a frivolous economy. lawsuit. It is kind of like, a, a, in the first paragraph of this story, less than a month after the likes of Larry David, Tom Brady, and Stephen Curry, and I don't know why they don't have Matt Damon listed, uh, are in trouble for pitching FTX and crypto... Oh, because it's all FTX. But for, for cryptocurrency, now they're talking about... Yes, again, cryptocurrency. You said, hey, uh, this uh, slot of zeros and ones that have no value... I'm going to pretend is worth $17,000 just because it's on my hard drive. Oh, it crashed. Matt Damon told me to invest in it. Now I'm mad at Matt Damon. No, you, you listen to Matt Damon. He's a great actor. He's a great screenwriter. Goodwill Hunting, he deserved his Oscar for that. Doesn't mean he's a financial genius. He has a financial planner. His financial planner said, hey, Matt, they'll pay you a million dollars to star in this ad. And he said, oh, that's a good idea. I'll take a million dollars. Right. Now, what's funny is if any of them took... Uh, cryptocurrency for the endorsement, then they lost out too. So that's funny. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll bet if you asked them personally on a podcast, when they were, they were hooked up to a polygraph and filled with uh sodium pentothal, the truth, the, the truth serum by yeah, the yeah. CIA. And they Some asked, Hey, uh, 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 Matt Damon, I know that uh, fortune favors the bold there, buddy. How bold would, were you with what percentage of your actual fortune that you've made for movies? How much of that did you actually put in, in Bitcoin or whatever? Um, he would tell you, I didn't even let them pay me for this commercial in Bitcoin. I said, give me real money, not your fake money that you're hoping if people buy enough becomes real money. Uh, so they would say that for one thing, but it, it's also like you were saying, they're hired to do a commercial. This is a commercial. Like, oh, I'm suing Michael Jordan because he said to Big Macs were delicious, but this thing sucks. <laughs> this It's basic. This special sauce is just Thousand Island dressing and clown cum. It's disgusting, Mr. Jordan. I'm starting to think that. These burgers have nothing to do with him winning basketball games. He lied. It's not helping my basketball game. It tastes bad. This Big Mac. Why have I eaten seventeen? I'm getting days? fatter. Five years. Yeah, I, I mean, cholesterol's up. It's a commercial. When you get, like, you get mad at the people who hired them to trick you, not the actors themselves. This is crazy. And get hired at again. This goes back to our very first. The media who talks about cryptocurrency as if it's real it's right it's not it the people that say cryptocurrency is real are like religious people who point to their religious text to say well my book says my god is real therefore it's true you say this uh this cryptocurrency is real because you're investing money in it therefore it's true no it, it will collapse and unlike the stock market when the stock market collapses at the end of the day uh, Coke still makes Coca-Cola, Pepsi makes Pepsi, furniture makers make furniture makers, car makers make cars. There is a product that can be sold and the revenue can return or build up again. With crypto's currency, once it's gone, yeah. there is no foundation for it to grow back. It's other literally than... just based on the faith that the consumers yeah, have. The, 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 the Ponzi currency. scheme has to grow again. Oh, our, our, um, well, our pyramid scheme collapsed. Let's build it up again. But you have no Ford will make another car. Ford you would be stock rich drops fuck 50%. If you, if they'll you still invested, make a car. Yeah, yeah. You would be rich as fuck if you invested in Enron and Bernie Madoff in the late 80s, early 90s, and then took the money out at the right time like Biff and Back to the Future 2. You'd be rich as fuck. And that's essentially what this is. It's yep. It's no different. It's funny. This has nothing to do with anything, but uh, the the Overture Center in Madison, Wisconsin, was built with Bernie Madoff money, 
and they got out just in time right before the lawsuits they invested they built their performing arts center and then uh, said all right we've got it so we don't need to keep and and so when all the lawsuits started they went ah good on us <laughs> <laughs> that's we funny. did it but either way, yeah, was no, there anything else in the that, story? Michael Defendants... Avenatti wouldn't even fucking defend these guys, man. Or uh, uh, w- wouldn't even try to prosecute these guys. Here you go. The manufactured celebrity endorsements and misleading promotions regarding the launch of uh, this, this cryptocurrency universe, um, it caused investors to purchase these losing investments at drastically inflated prices. Well, that's, yes, that's correct. But you're the the rube that got duped by it. It doesn't make these celebrities guilty. You are the idiot who, as you just pointed out, saw a commercial and said, that's a good idea. It never was a good idea. Right. And you don't get to sue Kevin Hart. Like Kevin Hart, I see him every Sunday yelling about draft kings he is pitching draft draft kings now if the uh jets play the eagles and i re- vote for the jets if i bet on the jets and i lose i i can't be mad at kevin hart well kevin hart told me to bet no kevin hart is just collecting money to to shill a product right it's it's insane and that's that's essentially what you're doing that's a great comparison because if you're if you're buying currency that's based on nothing you're essentially gambling and yep. look you would have made a ton of money if you would have bet on bitcoin day one when that shit was like twenty dollars a coin yeah yeah there's guys that got rich as fuck like that and 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 now they're being touted as financial geniuses because ironically fortune favored the stupid with bitcoin because in the <laughs> early days of bitcoin the smart community was very skeptical of this whole buy fake money and hope that it becomes real scheme you know they were like ah, i'm going to i'm going to spend my money on 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 stocks on things that are based on like you said actual companies and things um now a lot of those companies are shady as fuck we've certainly seen that in the past that said uh this thing uh, was was started and based off of a a fictional guy that like no one knows name I think his name's like Sakoto or something crazy yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. no one I, even I, knows yeah, who started I can't this remember. I haven't thing. read about him in a while but I know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so like what do you he just when created you're like, it oh. it's like L Ron Hubbard L Ron Hubbard said yeah. you know what you get rich by creating a religion he made Scientology now it's real this guy said I'm gonna create Bitcoin it'll just be this 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 algorithm that spits out and he made it he just literally invented it. Even Kanye's crazy ass on Alex Jones with a gimp mask. If Alex would have asked him, uh, so Kanye, uh, the, the money you have left, I'm sure you got a few hundred million. Hey, can I borrow some? I got some money problems. But but also, uh, how much of that are you going to invest in Bitcoin and NFTs? Kanye would have gone like, I'm not even stupid enough to do that right now. And I'm yeah. tanking my career to ramble about to the right yeah. yeah, it would have been it would have been crazy. All right, couple of quick stories just to bang out. This one I have nothing to say on other than it's just funny. It is just funny. A focus on Russell with Wilson's bathrooms illustrate just how bad things are for the bathroom. Apparently, Russell w- Wilson bought a mansion with twelve bathrooms, so now there is a touchdown uh, tracker showing that he has only passed um, for. It says like eight touchdowns through week eight. So he has more bathrooms in his house than touchdowns thrown for the Broncos. The fact that someone came up with that tracker, a mm, chef's kiss. I mean, it's just it's, it's pretty beautiful. hilarious, man. It's it's pretty hilarious. We should be investing in that guy's cryptocurrency. <laughs> they should make an NFT of 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 the bathroom graphs and sell them each week. All right. Florida Republican who sponsored Don't Say Gay Bill indicted on COVID relief fraud charges. Now, this is where I'm going to put on my tinfoil conspiracy hat. Um, He was uh, taking the protect the PPP loans through crypto for fake companies. And at the same time, everybody was focusing on the quote, don't say gay bill. Do you think, because this is genius, it was such big news, you create a bill like that to distract from what's really going on? Because as the Don't Say Gay bill was going on, uh, DeSantis was losing money in the Russian markets because he had invested in Russia. He was losing pension money. I, I'm just trying to be a weasel here, but when you are doing something shady like stealing from the government, it's a shell game. It's a sleight of hand. You say, hey, uh, let's piss everybody off with this this bill 
I mean, it covers your tracks. It obviously came out, but uh, everybody's talking about how he ripped off. I, I think it's interesting that uh, it happened at the exact same time that he's stealing money when this bill is big. Yeah, I think so, man. I mean, you know, they, they don't like to say gay. They don't like to say where they got their money. They, You know, <laughs> they don't like to say a lot of things, man. Yeah, I, I think that's a good point. I mean, it, 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 it definitely goes back to, uh, you know, a lot of the hypocrisy of politicians who like, I'm, I'm going to demonize this thing, but then I'm going to fucking like yeah. extort the basically taxpayers, you know, while claiming yeah. that, oh, you're 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 in danger from I mean, these people trying to groom your kids. Meanwhile, I'm going to fucking funnel money out of, you know, what the pool that could go to their fucking school system. Yeah. All right. Final story. I just bumped my computer. Final story. And the only reason I sent you this is for the very last sentence. I've seen this bouncing around for a while. Nuclear energy official Sam Brinton, who is charged with stealing a Vera Bradley suitcase, has been accused of swiping luggage at an airport for a second time. And <laughs> yeah, this has popped up a couple times. As I said, I've, I saw it all. So the last line in the story Meanwhile, 16 Republican lawmakers sent a letter this week to Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm demanding Brinton's resignation. You know what? I am okay with that. If this guy is swiping suitcases, he's got something going on. Maybe he shouldn't be in charge of uh, what he's in charge of. I just want to know where all 16 of these legislators stand on January 6th. Are they for, you know, prosecuting the insurrectionists? Or is that a big nothing burger that this guy stealing? Yeah, that's true. Oh, he, he's a criminal. We I'm fully willing to say Sam should be fired and taken off all his posts. I want to know where these 16 stand up Republicans stand on, on January 6th. Yeah, no, 100 percent, man. Uh, I, I think I think this this guy was I think they're non-binary. So this person to do whatever they, they look like. Man, yeah, I'm going to get us canceled playing. for for saying guy. Sorry. They, yeah, they look like Matt Damon playing a Bond villain. Yes. That's like a, a weird homophobic character from like 25 years ago to where it's like, man, you can't do that shit now. But uh, it, uh, yeah, you definitely got to fire this this person because it, it, it's a fucking weird look being, I don't mean the physically. The, you know, no, no, the, um, the, to have someone that steals luggage is a weird look. Yeah, yeah I hear you. Yeah, it, 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 you can't be doing that, especially if you're in charge of the nuclear stuff, man. Oh, my God, does this does this thing seem Bond villainy? Like, it's fucking weird. I, I But, I, yeah, I can, I, since I'm not a total fucking hack for either side, I can be like, yeah, we should prosecute the guy that caused January 6th to happen and uh, you, you fire the guy who's stealing luggage. Yeah, he, they, the, the person can be a genius and good at their job, but if you are stealing handbags, if that's your fetish, like, ooh, I like that, I want to steal it, it that you're, you 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 got to pay. You you have to pay. You cannot hold a federal position if you are a thief. So, all right. It's, it's just such a bizarre crime where I'm like, hey, I can't have somebody that mentally unstable around the nukes, bro. You can maybe be in charge of like, I don't know, Secretary of Interior, whatever that is. <laughs> you can't be in charge of the nukes and doing nutty shit like this. Yep. Oh, one final thought on it. I want to know where these 16 uh, Republicans stood on Herschel Walker. So this guy right here, th this person uh, stealing luggage, that's bad. But Herschel, you know, uh, he may have held a gun to his wife head. Yeah, well, he, yeah. That, that was years ago. So, so vote for Herschel. It's sort of like you got you got Hillary Clinton's emails. Yeah, you got Donald Trump's uh, the fucking documents in in in, in a storage unit near Mar-a-Lago. Both very comparable things. They just got a little loosey goosey with classified documents. Didn't give them to anybody else. Was just being old and dumb and lazy. But depending on what side you're on, it's either lock her up or oh, those were his documents, you know. Yeah. Or it's uh, uh, no, Hillary Clinton didn't do nothing. That's just that's just emails. Who gives a fuck? And it, that guy should go to prison for uh, there was nuclear codes in there. It, it, it's it, yeah, it's, it's whatever side you're on. All right, yeah. JakeVevra.com, NathanTimmel.com. We are going to get cut off. So thanks for watching or listening. Talk to you next week, Jake. Later.